Alright guys, this is the Duder. I've got kind of a different video today. My girlfriend, she drives a bus and she gets really hot. So we were watching the Olympics and we seen some people keeping cool. So she got a bright idea of I wonder if I could keep cool on the bus by making my own cooling vest. So, you know what? Let's do it. Let's make a cooling vest. So, we've got a couple of things here. What we did was we went to your local... We actually went to Target. We got a couple of things. We got some Velcro... Uh, of course, you got to have your basic utensils of uh, scissors or any kind of anything to cut with or anything like that. We so we got Velcro. We have some ice packs. So we have like these little coolant things that you would normally put in like a lunchbox or anything like that. We have these these little lunch lunch box coolant things, and then we have these like packs that you would get out of. Where did you get these? Where would you get these from? Probably out of a lunchbox too. Yeah, you might get these out of a lunchbox too, but they're the. We just had them laying around. You can get these these coolant packs or anything like that from anywhere. Just laying around, any kind of coolant, anything. So, after you have your, your basic utensils and everything, we had to think, what do we need to do? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Get you get you some kind of flimsy vest. You don't want anything heavy. You don't want to be carrying around this crazy, crazy heavy vest. So, we got a really light, really super light vest. And we wanted we wanted a vest that had a multi-layer to it. Really, really light multi-layer to it. Yeah, sorry. We, we've already been cutting and stuff like that. So we got like little cuts of straps, of Velcro straps and everything. We kind of wanted to make sure that we could do it before we started filming and everything. And we're, we, we've actually made some headway. So what basically what we've done is we've cut these slits in the side and... We are tucking the ice packs into the side where it's not coming out the other side, but it is tucked in between this, the one side and the back side. So the ice pack is in between so that you can feel the coolness and it not show on the other side. So that's one way to do it. Now you might say... Well, if that works there, why would you need Velcro? Okay, so the Velcro. Now, it gets a little more tricky whenever you're doing the back side of the actual vest. It's not so simple. If you if you have the back side of the vest, uh, the ice pack may actually slip and go around and stuff like that you don't want to be sitting on the ice pack so basically what we have done is we have the velcro inside of here and what we have done is we've made a, a pretty much a barrier to keep it from falling down to the bottom of the actual vest so we've put the velcro in here and stopped it from going to the bottom of the vest that way we can just we cut a slit and we put the ice pack inside of here. That way you can keep it. That way you can just put it in there and keep it there. That way you can keep it at the small of your back and stay cool in the spots that you want to stay cool at. You don't want to keep it too low because then you'll end up sitting on it. So we're actually only going to cut. I've already put I put a velcro piece on the on each side so I've created a pocket. 
I've cut and created a pocket to put these ice packs in. So I've I put a, a bottom piece of Velcro, two side pieces of Velcro, and cut the slit in the middle so that you can put the ice pack into right here. Okay, so we talked about where we actually put our ice packs already. We had already put one here at the bottom, which was easy. We put one in the small of the back. We made a pocket. That's easy. Now, at the top, we have something that could fall at the bottom. We have something that's not so easy. got something at the top. So, basically, on the harder pockets, we, we cut a slit down here, put a bottom to it, and once you created a bottom, then you can cut at the top and you can put an ice pack at the top. I mean, and you can put your ice pack in here at the top and you created another pocket. So we actually have an ice pack that goes in the top here, keeps her one side cool at the top and then her other side cool at the bottom. So we're actually going to put the, the one ice pack here and then we're going to actually we're going to put put this on and see where we need to keep her cool in the top part of her back here and then once we do that we're actually going to be good we're going to be done with our our ice cool vest ice cool vest is that what we're going to call it our ice cool vest ice cold all right okay so basically at this point what I did was I asked her where she would feel most comfortable at where she wants this ice pack. And we can put it anywhere within the seam. So you'll want to just ask where you want to put it in the seam. And she wants it at the highest point that she can get it, right in the middle. So that's actually where we're going to put it. That's where we're going to mark it. That's where we're going to put it, all right? Okay, so basically what you'll just, you'll cut in and across because what you're basically doing is you're, you're, you're opening up your ice pack pocket across and where your ice pack pocket's going to be. Just enough to get it in there, not so much that you're cutting on the other side. And then we're going to create our Velcro pocket around it. That way we can keep cool at the part where she wants to be on the back side of the vest, of our ice cool vest. Okay, basically you can put your your ice pack inside the pocket that you've just created and then use it as a measuring tool to how, how big you wanna make your pocket. So you'll just put it in here and just kinda hold it across wherever you wanna put your Velcro piece and then you'll cut your velcro piece and then match it up to your other velcro piece your other velcro piece and then you'll you'll go in and you'll take one side off put it on the inside and then take the other piece off and go ahead and just slap it on on the inside and create that bottom part of that pocket in, on the inside i know this might seem goofy and it might seem a no no duh kind of moment but one thing that I would probably do, and this is just a hint, I guess that would help me, is I made sure that all my Velcro on the inside is all down the same way everywhere. Like the soft side down of the Velcro is down first everywhere. I just don't want, I just don't want the Velcro fighting itself everywhere so i would make sure that the velcro is down everywhere or all the if you do if you do the 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 coarse side down just make sure that it's down everywhere so that your velcro isn't fighting each other you just don't want to rip your your fabric or anything like that of your vest that you're using okay just thought i'd point that out all right so we actually have our pocket here with our coolant pack our other pocket a little bit lower on the back coolant pack we have our coolant pack on the lower pocket we have our coolant pack here if you would babe that do that you gonna be able to stay cool I don't know, the one on the back I instantly feel I don't feel these too much but I'm sure I will see if you zip it up <laughs> yeah. 
Awesome. Yeah, you feel them? Yeah. Awesome. All right, and that's our, uh, what did I call it earlier? Our, oh no. Ice, 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 cool, ice cool, ice, ice cool, cool vest. vest. Ice cool vest. Ice cool vest. Awesome. All right. And that's how you make our ice cool vests with just your normal everyday things that you can get anywhere. All right, cool.